Titus Web. We'll be doing a playthrough of Ascension. And this, as I said, is a single player variant. So, there's going to be some slightly different rules. So, before we start, this is just the setup video. Um, once we've sorted this out, um, we'll get into we'll have the next video once we start gameplay. So, first of all, what we want are the Mystic cards. These are here. All the cards are the same. They're all Mystic. Oops. And they get gathered together and placed in this space. Next we have the Heavy Infantry. And again, like the Mystics, they get placed there. And finally, the Lone Cultist will sit here beside the Heavy Infantry. You keep him company. Let's do first of all, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight apprentice cards. The rest can go back in the box. So eight apprentice cards. And we want two militia cards. One, two. And they go there and the rest go back in the box. That is our starting hand. So we'll keep that there. Next we have the actual, uh, I'm not sure what these cards are called, but the monster cards, whatever. I'll give them a shuffle. I've already shuffled them, but just to show I'm not cheating in any way, putting decent cards on the top. I'll shuffle once more and place that there. And next we need to set aside 50 honour tokens. Okay, so the honour tokens work out at red ones 5, white ones 1. So we'll do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 45, 50. That will do. And the rest go in the bag. There should be 10 of the white ones there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, it was under them was a stray one. And these now, strangely enough, go in the bag. <coughs> okay, so we set aside those, I will put them there. So we can see them. And then it's lay out the centre row as normal. So I have a sea tyrant. We have a flytrap witch. We have a void thirster. A temple librarian. A Naira templar. And a leaf bound initiate. Okay, so the difference being with this one, usually when you're playing in a multiplayer game, when a card gets removed, you just place another card in there. However, whenever a card leaves the centre row, the replacement card always enters on the left-hand side. So I'm assuming, for me, that will be that side. So a new card would come in from there. So basically what would happen is if that one leaves, we'd move that them over and place another card. 
it does say the left hand side so that's my left this is my left here so I'm assuming that's that's the side that it comes on okay so at the end of my turn Samael is considered to acquire or defeat the two cards furthest to the right in the centre row which is those two so all cards acquired by Samuel are set aside and only used to determine its honour total at the end of the game. Any monsters defeated go to the void and Samuel receives any honour from the reward. All honour effects are ignored. Ok, so continue playing until the, the last honour token is gone. And then it's... Uh, we can per totals with Samuel. So what I'm going to do is the the Militia and the Apprentice cards that's in my hand, I'm going to put a Militia card in there, a Militia card in there, and I'm going to give them now a bit of a shuffle. Okay, so that's my hand sorted out. Okay, so on my turn now, I will play my cards, and I'll use the ones out of the box to show you. Okay, so we have two different types of cards. So, this one is runes, and this is one we can buy heroes. Um, so, with one rune here, I can't buy anything. So that will be just that will be wasted. If I had two of those rooms where it says plus one, if I had two though, I could be able to buy the heavy infantry. If I had three, I could buy the mystic. So I could buy the, uh, the heavy infantry or the temple librarian. If I had three, I could buy the mystic. If I had four, I could buy the Ara uh, Templar. If I had five, I could buy the Void Thurster or the Flytrap Witch. In fact, I can buy one, I can buy that one, which will gain, so I will gain then plus one for that and a, uh, an honour. These ones are for fighting. Okay, so on some of the cards you will see in the top left hand corner, top right hand corner, sorry, <laughs> um, a shield with a dagger and a number. That's how much it will take to defeat that one. So that is a militia is worth one um, one power. The heavy infantry is worth two powers. So if you add, for example, a heavy infantry to your militia, there's nothing really much you could do the way this is set up now. But you could attack the cultist and gain one honour. So, and at the end of the game, at the bottom of the, bottom left of the card, you will see a black star with a number in it, and that's how much honour that card is worth. So I'll put the heavy infantry back there, I'll take the militia and the apprentice card and put, place them back into the box where I got them from. set to play. I've got my rule book here just to remind me of the rules. For a two player game, I'm, well, for a multiplayer game, I'm fine, but this one will be slightly different. Um, so, when we come back, it's not going to be a play. Take care, God bless, and bye for now.